up Sunday to welcome the bride to be. for as long as you both shall live. And do you promise to share all future Ferrero Rocher with her? <laughs> I do. <laughs> In the presence of these witnesses, it is now my very pleasant duty to pronounce you husband and wife. And Kevin, you may now kiss the bride. Woo! <laughs>
afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. For those who don't already know me, I'm Eddie. Now for the right. And today especially, a very proud one. I'd like to welcome, welcome you to all, all to the long awaited wedding of Michelle and Kevin. I'm sure you all agree it's an even more special occasion due to the continual postponement and restrictions that were in place along the way. I'm delighted to welcome Kevin to the family, and I'm sure you all agree they make a lovely couple. Michelle, you're looking even more beautiful today than ever. <laughs> it's clear to see they make one another an extremely happy. However, if there's one piece of advice I'd like to give to Michelle, it's already been mentioned, is to really treat him to now and again, not black with yellow whipsies. <laughs> And now and again, maybe a biscuit or two. Oh, a biscuit! <laughs> even, if, even if that's for my own selfish reasons. <laughs> and that I can get one with my cup of coffee now and again. <laughs> Kevin could be a very romantic person. However, his idea of asking Michelle to put on a pair of wellies, no, no, not half of you are thinking. <laughs> In some strange, coherent way, but to join him on the beach, the collect date is perhaps not a big girl a year of a perfect date. As we all know, Michelle has another love in her life, the one and only Rick Astley. Oh. <laughs> and it's meant to make this evening even more special when Michelle is not here. No, it's not here. <laughs> I'd like to present Kevin with this little gift from me. Jesus, what an emotional day. 
even the wedding cakes and tears. <laughs> Now, what can I start with Michelle, who's now my wife? She's kind, intelligent, gorgeous, and always makes me smile. But. Michelle, what's this say? <laughs> <laughs> Michelle and I are different people with different personalities. Some mornings I wake up grumpy, some mornings I just let her sleep. <laughs> the first time I met Michelle, I knew she was the one for me. She took my breath away. She still does. She's my rock, my soulmate, my best friend. The Lord. <laughs> and she changed my world. Thank you for Michelle for taking the chance on me and loving the way you do. <laughs> I want to bring you continuous laughter, joy and comfort as we embark on our life together as my own wife. Today is only the beginning. So Michelle, this is what we're saying. Don't stop me falling, it's destiny calling. A power I can't just deny. It's never changing. Can't you hear me? I'm saying I want you for the rest of my life. Together, I'm going to ask you all to raise your glass and toast my beautiful bride, Michelle. And now I'd like to pass you over to my best man and best friend, Billy. <laughs> Afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'd like to thank you for attending the celebration of the wedding of Kev and Michelle, Mr. and Mrs. Lewis. Hope you've had a lovely time so far and continue to have a fantastic time as the day and evening goes by. I'd also like to apologise in advance in any way I will not in the next few minutes. Kev, don't go on the table. <laughs> I'm Billy, and for, for those who don't know me, yes, I do the short straw to be Kev's best man. <laughs> don't call TV, don't be a lucky TV for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I've known Kev and been his friends since 2006 when we both represented Scotland in the World Show Angle Championships in Portugal. I think like Michelle. Open to the okay, see that, Michelle? Uh, for the last eight years. We met this beautiful woman. Doesn't she look perfect today? Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget, don't forget to get it. It's not going to look too bad yourself. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know, those of you who do know how Kevin was showing right now, um, but there was a bit of an issue going about that. Kev wasn't telling us that he was actually going to see Michelle. And Kev disappeared, and I didn't know where he was. I contacted him, couldn't get a hold of him, whatever. And then he finally said that he'd, uh, he'd met Michelle and uh, he was doing some work for her. So he must have charged a bit because uh, he kept returning to clean her pipes and the last bit of time. And I remember before I came met Michelle, for a while he hadn't been feeling, he didn't have much luck with women. And uh, we were for it. He wasn't getting very well. We had to go fishing. That's under the Kev's house for the usual pre match coffee. Well, this morning, Kate didn't look too, ha too happy. They looked really down. You know, down the dumps, he was sitting there, sad face. So he looks up, mate. He says, I, I just can't seem to get a right with women. Women that I speak to. Don't know what to do about it. So I says, why don't you do what everybody else does and just Google it? You know, Google it. Or, you get an Amazon smart speaker, why don't you ask that? What's, you know, ask that a bit quick to do. And they, you keep saying that they know everything. He says, ah, great idea. So he says, Siri, why do I have so much trouble with her? What can I do about it? Speaker replied, eh, the name's Alexa, so you should try and get the name right for stars. <laughs> she must have him for another five days after that. <laughs> Finally, I met Michelle, found the perfect woman for him, his partner. His best friend was so great, and she made him so happy. Happy he started seeing him in years. When Kev told me he was going to propose to Michelle, brought the biggest smile to my face. Felt so happy for both of them. I believe they make a perfect couple. And have a long and happy life together as my own life. As the people sang, well, well lovely that you know you should have laughed. Of 
there's, there's one person who we all love to be here today, Margaret King's mum, who sadly passed away last year. How proud she would have been to see Kevin Michelle being married today. Can I ask you all to use that last and give his mum to Margaret? Ken has always been there to support me through tough times. There's been one or two. I hope that I'd be there for him when we did. I want to know that I'll continue to be there for him and his wonderful wife. So, as a gesture of strength in their, in their relationship, can I ask you, Kev, to put your hands on the table with your palms facing up? <laughs> Michelle, please put your hands on top of Kev's palms. Not facing down, not be just facing down. <laughs> Kev, that's the last time you'll have the upper hand in this relationship. <laughs> myself and a beautiful looking bridesmaids. I'd like to thank Kevin and Michelle for the, letting us be part of this wonderful day. I know how much work and effort you've put in prepared for it, especially you Michelle. I bet you give you a massive list to work through. <laughs> well, that's amazing. It's been an amazing day. Kev, I'm very proud to be standing here today to the best man. We've seen some great times and experiences. Today is a very honour for me. Don't be with me forever. And remember Kev, Love isn't around it. It's a circle. It goes on forever. As your dad was saying to me earlier, he says, you're a bit official. He says, uh, you've got the best, mess, the best mermaid that you could have come up with. <laughs> so, before we go to the part where the trousers are small permanently, which didn't show us already measured up for a new role, can I say it's been an honour to deliver this speech and can you all raise your glasses a toast to Kevin Michelle, Mr. and Mrs. Lewis, a long and happy life together. So before I finish, a couple of things. A big thank you to Eddie Michelle's dad, who is offered to buy everybody a drink in the bar. Cheers. Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and before I forget, um, can all the women who have a spare key for Kev's house please bring it to the front of this door? And how about his man, Mandy? Thank you, Mandy. 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 Once you're in position and all set up, we'll do a wee countdown to make sure that everyone who's getting their cameras out may, can get the, the cake cutting moment. Okay. Three, two, one.
And now, if I could ask you all to put your hands together once more and give them another huge round of applause as they take their first dance as man and wife.